When it comes to chocolate chip cookies, do you prefer thick and chewy or thin and crispy? Whatever your preference is, I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect chocolate chip cookie. All right, so I've actually shown you guys how to make a thick and chewy cookie before, but I'm gonna do a little refresh today. So, I always start off by browning my butter, and in that last video, I know I confused a lot of you guys by saying unsalted, but always go with salted. This is actually my favorite to use, the one by Kerrygold, and I'm just gonna melt and brown one stick. So I prefer to use salted butter because I feel like it balances out the sweetness of the cookie and it just really brings out the flavor of everything. Now I'm gonna melt it on medium heat until it starts to form little foamy bubbles and the bottom milk solids get nice and toasty brown. So whenever I'm melting a stick of butter like this, I always try to keep it moving so you don't get like uneven browning. Okay, so I've let my brown butter cool completely and it almost looks like honey here. But now we're gonna mix it with our sugars. I have equal amounts white sugar, granulated sugar into the bowl and brown sugar. For the brown sugar, I always use dark brown sugar. It just has a lot more flavor than the light brown sugar. Add our brown butter and just mix it up until it's well combined. All right, so now the sugar is in with the butter. We're gonna add a large egg. And I'm just gonna mix it until it becomes like a nice lava-like consistency. While you're doing this, try to break up any of the large chunks of brown butter if you see it. See, this is the kind of consistency you're looking for. It's almost like gel-like. Okay, so now, this is what I like to do. Most people love to mix their dry ingredients separately, but I just find that it mixes better when I mix it with the wet ingredients. I don't know why. It just works for me. So I'm gonna add first our vanilla extract directly into the bowl, then some salt and the baking soda, which I am gonna aim to put it right on top of the vanilla extract, just so it activates. Mix it all up. And now we're gonna add our flour and chocolate chips together. I always use these specific kind. It's by Ghirardelli. It's 60% bittersweet chocolate. They also have a 72% one that I really like too, but I just like the look of it spread out once it's baked. So I'm gonna add my chocolate chips right in with the flour and give it a final mix. Also, if you guys are wondering, the full recipe is written out in the description box below. You wanna mix it until you don't see any more like loose flour at the bottom and it looks nice and hydrated. All right, this looks good, so now let's scoop it out. My cookie scoop, I'm just gonna place it on the baking sheet that I've already lined with parchment paper. Sometimes I like sprinkling a little bit of Malden sea salt right on top, but today we're just gonna go with the usual, like this plain, and I'm just gonna pop it into my oven, preheat it to 350 degrees, and bake it for nine minutes. It'll give the perfect crispy exterior while still nice and gooey in the middle. I mean, does that not look perfect or what? I'm actually team thick and chewy, but comment below and let me know which team you're in. So we're gonna set this aside to cool while I show you guys how to make the perfect thin and crispy chocolate chip cookie. So to make thin and crispy chocolate chip cookies, you basically need the same exact ingredients, except the ratio is slightly different. So I'm gonna start by adding my sugars into the bowl. So here I'm using a higher ratio of granulated sugar, just because it creates a more thin and crispy cookie. Um, it doesn't have the same moisture as you would for brown sugar, which is why it helps to like crystallize a little bit better and I'm using slightly less brown sugar, still dark brown sugar, um, but I'm using slightly less brown sugar than I would in the thick and chewy one because adding more will create, like I said, a more chewy cookie. So now I'm gonna add some melted butter. You can of course use the brown butter too if you would like. It'll create more depth in the cookie, but for the sake of doing something a little bit different in these cookies, I'm just using melted butter. Same high quality salted butter. Give it a good mix. You're not looking for any specific consistency here. It's more just like making sure all the sugars are combined and soaked with the butter. 
So now I add a large egg. Again, just breaking up any of the large bits of brown sugar. And then in this one, we also have vanilla extract, salt, and the baking soda, except this time I'm using a lot less of the leavening because we want it to be rather flat, but you still want it to have a little bit of a crisp. Now for this recipe, I have an additional ingredient that I didn't in the thick and chewy one. I'm gonna be adding some milk because it helps just the batter spread so you get that nice crispy and thin cookie. And now we add the flour, which also is significantly less than the last one, and our chocolate chips. Like the other one, I'm just gonna scoop it onto a baking sheet already lined with parchment paper. Now because this cookie spreads quite a bit, I'm not gonna fit 12 on the baking sheet, I'm just gonna put eight. I do have to say, making these thin and crispy cookies, they're a little bit more high maintenance than the last ones. Because they do spread quite a bit, I like to give extra insurance by putting them in the freezer for about five minutes while the oven is heating up. So once it's ready to bake, I crank the oven up to 375 degrees this time, and we're gonna bake it for about 14 to 15 minutes until it looks nice and like extra golden brown. Almost burnt, but not quite there yet. This way it'll dry out a little bit and give you a really nice thin and crispy cookie. For days. I love these. They look, all those ridges, they just look so beautiful and the brownness of it is just, but I have to let them cool completely to get like the perfect crispiness. So we have our thick and chewy and our thin and crispy. So the thick and chewy has a perfectly round shape, nice and brown at the bottom. Like you can see it's a little puffy. And inside, it's nice and gooey. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Sweet but not too sweet, perfectly balanced. And then like I said, you get that crispiness on the outside and chewiness on the inside. This one is a winner. You gotta wash it down with some milk. And here is our thin and crispy. Not perfectly round and it has like a rippled effect that's really pretty. In the back, you'll notice that it's also very lacy. It kind of reminds me of those like Florentine cookies. Let's break it apart. So if you notice like the edge, the edge is very crispy inside. Mmm, that crunch though. Anyways, I hope the breakdown of the two cookies was useful, and if you end up making them, always tag me on Instagram, at Honeysuckle. I would love to see your creations. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed my chocolate chip cookies. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more delicious recipes. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!